But four and a half billion years ago, when our planet was born, it was just a molten inferno. There was no place for any water at all. Yet the ingredients needed to create water were there, locked away deep inside the Earth when the planet formed. As the first volcanoes erupted, one of the gases that bellowed out was steam. And as the planet cooled, it formed clouds. So began the longest rainstorm of all time. It rained for thousands of years. As the first rivers formed, they began to fill up the low-lying areas on our young planet, creating the first oceans. But it's reckoned that even this relentless downpour only delivered around half the water that makes up our oceans today. The rest came from outer space. This is a comet, filmed in 2005. It's about six kilometers across, and like all comets, it's made of rock and water in the form of ice. To discover just how much water comets contain, scientists deliberately crashed a satellite straight into it. As it plowed into the surface, more than 250 million litres of water burst out into space. In Earth's formative years, it was hit by thousands of comets like this. By the time the bombardment finished, it's thought they'd delivered up to half the water in our oceans. 